Hi, I'm Amelia Tamayo. Last weekend was the Arcadia High School Invitational, where 31 national track and field records were set. Among the contestants was Chloe Cunliffe, who pole vaulted a height of 14 feet and 8 inches. Wow. In other news... Next weekend will be Passover and Easter. Exciting! As we know, there are many people in the Northampton metropolitan area who celebrate one or both of these holidays, but not everyone really knows what they are about. To get a better understanding of the meaning behind these holidays and the unique traditions that local families partake in, we sat down with celebrants and participants. Well, of course I could tell you a little bit about the story of Passover. The story of Passover all starts in the land of Egypt. And the Jews were enslaved for 400 years in the land of Egypt. Egypt. There were people that were Jewish and Pharaoh didn't like them. So he said that all Jewish males must be thrown into the river. But one little Jewish boy was saved and that was Moses. And was put in a basket in the Nile River. And the basket floated away and went into Pharaoh's palace. And then he found out he was Jewish and he went and he lived in exile in the desert for a while. and then. He found this burning bush, and through the bush, God told him that he needed to free his people. So he came back to Egypt, and he said, Pharaoh, let my people go. Let my people go. But Pharaoh says no, and God sends down ten plagues, blood, locusts, frogs, hail and blood, beast, death of oxen and other farm animals, darkness, boils, and the last one was the death of your firstborn son. And that's the one that everyone in Egypt was like, okay, this guy's the real deal. That one makes Pharaoh go crazy. And he's like, all right, I'll let your people go. And then Pharaoh's like, actually, never mind. And so they chase them. And then the Jews are trapped in between the Red Sea and Pharaoh. And they see Pharaoh in the distance. But then Moses raises his staff. And then the Red Sea parts. And they run through. And then the Red Sea collapses and kills the Pharaoh. And the Jews are saved. Easter is celebrating the resurrection of Jesus. So um, on Good Friday, which is the Friday before Easter Sunday, uh, Jesus was crucified by uh, Pontius Pilate. And on the third day, he, he rose again in accordance with the scripture. My grandpa will cook up like a, like a nice ham, nice piece of meat, you know, some, some potatoes. It's, it's very, I guess, meat and potatoes kind of, <laughs> kind of holiday. It's really nice to have like matzo ball soup and like matzo harosit sandwiches. Um, well, matzo ball soup, uh, the matzo ball is made with matzo meal. Um, I don't really know how it's made, but it's put into um, chicken soup generally, into chicken broth and it's matzo ball soup. And charoset, depending on if you are an Ashkenazi Jew or a Sephardic Jew, um, it depends on like what kind of nuts you use and what kind of apples you use. It's sort of this paste. Thanks for watching, and don't hesitate to reach out if you have a topic that you'd like to see covered on the transcript. I'm Amelia Tamayo, and this has been In Other News. Bye!